when King David was old and weak a carer called Abishag was chosen to look after him. David had many sons by several wives but had promised Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, that her son would succeed him as king. Another of David's sons, Adonijah, the younger brother of Absalom, saw an opportunity to make himself king instead. He got chariots and horses ready, with fifty men to run ahead of him. Job, commander of the army, and Abiathar the priest, gave him their support. But Zadok the priest, Benaiah, one of David's mighty men, Nathan the prophet, and David's special guard remained loyal to him. Adonijah went to the stone of Soheleth near Enrogel to make sacrifices. He invited all the other princes, except Solomon, to join him. All the royal officials of Judah were invited but not Nathan the prophet, or Benaiah, and David's special guard. When the prophet Nathan learned about the plot, he went to Bathsheba and advised her life and that of Solomon was under threat. Nathan urged her to go to King David and ask, Didn't you promise me that Solomon would take over the throne? Why then has Adonijah become king? So Bathsheba went to see the aged king and bowed down before him. She told David that Adonijah had declared himself king and Job and others were supporting him. She pleaded with him to let Israel know who David had chosen to be king. Nathan then arrived to confirm the plot to David. King David gathered Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet and Benaiah and told them to put Solomon on a donkey and take him to the springs at Gion. When Solomon arrived at Gilhan, Zadok the priest took a horn of scared oil anointed Solomon as king. Then they sounded the trumpet and everyone shouted, Long live King Solomon! People played pipes and celebrated so loudly that the ground shook. The noise could be heard further down the Kidron Valley where Adonijah and his rebels were finishing their feast. At first Adonijah thought it must be good news. But then, Jonathan, son of Abiathar the priest arrived to break the news that Zadok and Nathan had declared Solomon was king. Solomon had taken his seat on the royal throne and officials were congratulating him. King David was praising God for allowing him to see his successor on the throne. All Adonijah's guests rose in alarm and ran off. Adonijah, in fear of Solomon, went and took hold of the horns of the altar and pleaded for his life. When Solomon heard about this he said, If Adonijah shows himself to be worthy, not a hair of his head will be harmed, but if evil is found in him, he will die. King Solomon sent men to bring Adonijah down from the altar. Adonijah bowed down before King Solomon, who told him, Go to your home. When David was close to death he told Solomon, Be strong and obey God. If you keep his laws you will prosper. David reminded Solomon of the promise God had made him, If you do what is right and are faithful with all your heart and soul, you will never fail to have a successor on the throne of Israel. When David died he was buried in Jerusalem, also known as the city of David. Solomon dealt with those who had and supported Adonijah's rebellion and was firmly established as king.